Tonight, it's RuPaul's Drag Race Season 15. The team choices are shady. Shade! The pacing of this episode is bullshit. What is going on? And the deliberations were cut from the edits. This is Reality Reflex. Before we begin, make sure that you like and subscribe so you can get all of the Drag Race and Reality TV content. All right, everyone, this is Tedley here, and going into tonight, the show was featuring the Connecticut Queen storyline by bringing up the Amethyst and Robin romance. RuPaul's couples therapy race. Oh, so they saved her for the storyline. Queen saying they used to date, production will now drag out a romance storyline. No. Well, that is just so interesting. I'm gonna go get another cocktail. <laughs> this week, the queens were tasked to do a challenge in teams, and so Anitra as the challenge winner from last week got to be one team leader, and Amethyst as the almost going home bitch got to be the other team leader. The shade of this moment is that all the queens that these two queens don't pick for their teams are gonna be on a leftovers group of their own. Shade. They left the big girls in the third group. So the fats and the people of color were the ones left out? Sounds like the gay community for real. None of the big girls getting picked sits very wrong with me. Sadly, it always happens. Not this. This week, the challenge director was Michelle Visage, and girl, she was not having it. Michelle is not having it with any of these teams. Forget heaven, Michelle looks like she's in hell. As the episode continued on, the fans were not enjoying the shoddy edit for the 45 minute cut of this season. They're rushing through these groups tonight. This editing, why is the acting challenge cut so short? 20 minutes in and they're already putting on their makeup for the runway? Jesus Christ, MTV, what have you done to this show? I honestly just press play and hope for the best. <laughs> After that came the runway. One look that really stood out to me was Anitra. The bitch was slaying, the mug was right, the hair was right, the outfit was right. I love her warrior drag aesthetic. That's what I'm coining it here, and I am just obsessed. She, you know what, I had her so wrong with my Meet the Queens review. Girl, if only that had just gone off a little better for me. But you know what? Every episode so far, I am just blown away by this bitch. Up next, of course, we had Sasha Colby. And bitch, this was an outfit. She is coming to this runway and she is going to bring you a look. It is going to be over the top. It is going to be extra. It is going to be drag. Up next, we had Lux Nor London. And okay, bitch, this was a motherfucking look. The hair was good. The dress was this flowy gold fantasy. It was everything. It was iconic. It was the moment. Okay, I did love the look of Spice. However, what was up with that puppy thing? It's like, girl, we don't want a gimmick. We don't want a toy. This is RuPaul's motherfucking drag race. This isn't Toys R Us, bitch. But the look was fabulous. That hair color was fabulous. So yes, bitch, come through. Focus on the look, queen. This is RuPaul's motherfucking drag race. Okay, Aura comes out looking like a cross between Wonder Woman and Poison Ivy and a bitch I was living. She was just giving me everything. She was giving me the fantasy. This is the first time I think we've seen her in a drag look that's not a slinky black number. So I was just like, yes. I was waiting to see it, and this was the moment. Lucy LaDuga comes out, and clearly this bitch has some drag. This look was fabulous. She has the proportions going on. I love her drag persona. Her personality is there. I'm just waiting for it to be this national level drag that I know it is. But bitch, the proportionized, the padding, the body, the looks, the image is perfection. I am just excited to see even more. The Queen saw their main stage performances and Sasha Colby slayed this challenge. Okay, crisis aborted. She served. Someone check on Sasha! Brava. The first ad was cute. Sasha definitely was the standout of the group. Thank you. When it was time for the judging though, Jax was red to fill. Who child? Jax is getting red out on this stage. Hope she's ready to lip sync this evening against that princess one. 
me pretending not to hear Jax's critiques because she's my favorite and she can do no wrong. RuPaul ate Jax the fuck up and that's what she gets for playing with sugar. How crazy would it be if you learned how to be quiet? Yeah. With the episodes being cut shorter on MTV, the fans also noticed that the deliberations were entirely cut from the episode. No deliberations? God, MTV sucks. Wait, no deliberations? They are really serious about these episodes being one hour. Drag Race, take me back to VH1. I did not sign up for this. The bottom two queens this week were Amethyst and Princess Poppy. Amethyst saved herself one more time and Princess Poppy sashayed away. Poppy's face, oh my God, she definitely thought she had it. She said, open my meth making business. Princess Poppy was definitely a filler queen. Your tone seems very pointed right now. All right, everybody, that was my episode. This was week number two of RuPaul's Drag Race season 15. We're two queens down. Make sure to come back next week and join me for more RuPaul's Drag Race. This is Reality Reflex.